How you doing? Oh, I am doing awesome! You're... You look great. And you're extra tall today. Yes, I am. I'm yeah. always tall, though. I'm six feet tall. You are tall, yeah. But then, you know, with the heels and the confidence, I'm about six, seven. <laughs> 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 a lot of people think of you as a New Yorker, maybe because of Saturday Night Live, yes. but you actually like spent a lot of your life here in L.A. In L.A.? Yes. You grew up yes. here. Yes, yes, yes. We, we moved out here in 82. My dad was an electronic engineer, and he got a job at KJLH, because uh, Stevie Wonder on the, the radio yes, station. Yes. Wow. Yes. You so. know, I started in radio, and really? I knew a lot of engineers, you know? And yeah. They're, they're like a, an interesting group. My dad was very interesting. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He would love this. He would. Well, yes. I, bet, I bet he would. So, yes. did, and you did some radio, too, yes. right? Yes. I was a DJ in college. Uh, ah. I went by the name of DJ Frosty. Mm hmm <laughs> You played records, or...? Was yes, it, yeah. I opened up every show, because wh what happened was, um, I did know what I really wanted to be, but I knew communications was part of it, mm -hmm. and they needed a DJ Friday night. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, in Orange County, they have the music playing behind, like, a commercial-type channel. Okay. So that's what, that's what I did, and the people would come out to the quad, and I would play music. But I started my show off with, this is DJ Frosty, and all of a sudden you hear a whole bunch of snow. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, Aqua Boogie comes in. <laughs> it's awesome. It sounds good. <laughs> and then you never did that professionally. You never went on to get into radio. No, no. I didn't even know. Uh, I knew I wanted to be a comedian mm -hmm. by and that you time. you started I doing stand-up right away? Yes, I started doing stand-up in 87, actually. I was 19. Did you do it in Orange County, like around the college? No, oh. I was. I got discovered. Uh, not discovered. I'm sorry. I discovered comedy and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that has to happen first, I guess. Yeah, because I was real cocky that night, too. The, the, the school newspaper interviewed me, and I was like, I'm the next Eddie Murphy. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> wow. And then I had to call my dad and tell him that I was quitting college to become a comedian, and he was like, Eddie Murphy! Eddie Murphy ain't even Eddie Murphy! <laughs> Dad, get on the phone and tell this girl she ain't funny! You ain't funny! You ain't never made me laugh! <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's he did not support. He my, was not support. He did not support it at all. Oh boy. No. That makes it harder, doesn't it? It, it does not, because I didn't care. Oh, you didn't care. <laughs> I, I can't explain it to you. As soon as I touched the mic, I knew that's what I was supposed to do the rest of my life. Wow. Wow. I just knew it. I knew it. as soon as I walked off the stage, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna be a comedian. And then you did it. Yes. That's pretty great. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think when you have, you know what, it's in a way, I don't know if you agree with this, but it's in a way, it's good to have somebody who doesn't believe in oh you. Oh my God, I had the whole family, yeah. Oh, the you know whole family. <laughs> the whole family, like everybody, my friends, everybody was like, girl, when you gonna give up this comedy thing and well, get a real job? Even your friends? Yeah, well, some of my friends. Some of my friends really thought I was funny, but they really was like, get a job too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you have pay a few? Did you have jobs here at oh, that time? Oh, I had a billion and seventeen hundred jobs. <laughs> Is that enough? In L.A. in the in this area. Everywhere or I've lived everywhere. First of all, in L.A. I've lived everywhere. Eagle Rock. By the way, the guy who opened up the show, he yeah. was great. Uh, oh, oh yes, that was Ron Burgundy. I need an opener. He should open up for me. Oh my God, yeah, this he's, be a hit. He's working on his material, but um, yeah, he's got some good stuff. He's good. I like him. <laughs> he might do well. Ah, he would not. <laughs> uh, but I've lived everywhere. I've lived everywhere. I started in Orange County. I've lived in Pasadena. I lived in Eagle Rock. I've lived in Glendale. I've lived in Van Nuys. I've lived really? in Hollywood. Were you on the run from the law? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> so many places. <laughs> What was happening? Oh, that is hilarious! <laughs> that is so funny, because maybe I was. <laughs> that is a lot of homes in it's one area. It's a lot of homes, and I enjoyed every one of them. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I had every kind of job. I sold perfume. I was the justice of the peace at one time in my life. Uh, and then I was the annulment department, which I annulled the people that I married. So, really? No, I'm so serious. Like, a month later, they moved me to that department, and everybody I married was coming in. I was like, damn! Wow, that's gonna I be... I got what... the mojo or something, right? One of the saddest places it's to the work. saddest! And I was... I think it was because I was messing up the, you know, the vows thing, you know, I didn't... 
Uh, I thought it was <laughs> Mary D's lawful, awful wedded wife. Uh, I, didn't, I would say not... awful wedded, and I think... It's law... Yeah, it's not... Yeah, well, that's... Yeah, well, I, that might have been why. You ruined a lot of lives. I just want to make sure I ain't showing too much breath. Well, I am... I am... <laughs> I did the same thing earlier. <laughs> Boy, them things then got me through some times. Speaking of, speaking of stand-up comedy, yes. you have what I think is a very big announcement to make, correct? Oh, yeah. I, I was having so much fun with you. Yes, I am doing a Netflix, a Netflix special. Which is a big deal. <laughs> when will you... Um... Yes, so y'all finally get to see, like, what I really do. I am actually a stand-up comic. I mean, it's great to be the actress and the sketch and all that stuff, but I am actually a stand-up, hardcore. That's your thing. Like, yeah, hardcore. Yeah. That's what paid the bills. That's what paid the bills. And you'll be doing this where? Where yes, are you going to do Yes, in D.C. This? I picked D.C. out of all the cities because D.C. got one of the best comic crowds. Oh, really? And I okay. really wanted, to, like, two live shows. We got two shows, September the 10th, so people in D.C., go buy tickets. I need people to be there to fill in the audience and laugh. Yeah. Yes. Warner Center, the Warner Center. Will you, since you're in D.C., will you invite the president and his family to come Hell to this show? Hell no. <laughs> and, and I hope you show up so I can talk bad about your ass. Oh! You got not... Don't you show up. Don't you show He's up. He's banned from the show. You are banned, period. <laughs> you are banned from my life. I don't even know who you talking about right now. You got this movie, The Angry Birds. Movie. Yes! Oh, do you play Angry Birds? I'm an Angry Bird, period. You are an Angry Bird. You are the villain. You're the angriest yes, of all the Yes, don't I look like Coretta DeVille today? Mm. <laughs> Coretta DeVille. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun to do that. We had Josh Gad was here last night. Oh, he I said love him. he enjoyed you. Yeah, I love him so much. Yeah, he He's seems so like fun. a nice guy. Yeah, he's very fun. Yeah, and Angry Birds. Is it, do you though get involved in the in the game part of it? Let me just tell you. Yeah, I had to take it off my phone. Because cause, cause you're playing it and you're having so much fun, and then when it gets to those power-ups that you got to pay for, you go, oh, no, it's nothing. It's like $2.99. Oh, it's, no, don't worry, you keep playing. And then you get that, that iTunes bill, <laughs> and it's $767. <laughs> and then you really become angry. <laughs> it's good inspiration. Oh, my God. My yeah. assistant was like, no, I'm taking it off your phone, off your iPad. You are restricted. Interesting. I did the same thing for it's a slightly awful. different reason. I wound up, uh, uh, full disclosure, I was on the toilet until Ew. about 5 o'clock in the morning playing Angry Birds. But were you there because you just didn't feel like getting up? I couldn't stop playing the and game. And so you couldn't get up. And I've never felt more ashamed of myself than <laughs> when the sun started to come up. The sun came up and you still were sitting on the toilet with your pants down? Yeah. It well, I was. I almost, I just kind and of I, relate to that. <laughs> and, I del and I deleted it, and I've never gone back to it. And, and It's you know, hard to quit, isn't it? But nothing against the movie, of course. No, uh, yeah. nothing against the movie. Yes, not at yeah, all. Of course not. Well, it's great to have you here. <laughs> Thank uh, you. And I look forward to seeing the, the special. Do you have a title yet? Do you know what you're going to No, I, I don't have a title yet. Um, playing with titles. Okay. Uh, because the material is so close to me. Right. And I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be so good. Oh, good. Like, oh my goodness, I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> well, that'll teach your family. That'll teach them. <laughs> Leslie Jones, the Angry Birds <laughs> movie tour. I am Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.